Hey guys, so today I've got a quick review for you guys today because I don't have much to say about this book, but I definitely want to talk about it because I feel like it's a very underrated YA book, and that is Dying to Know You by Aiden Chambers. This story is about a boy named Carl who is deeply, madly in love with his girlfriend named Fiorella. I can't... I can't pronounce her name. I just can't. But that's not enough for his girlfriend. She wants proof of his love. She basically demands Carl to write down how he feels about her. But there's only one problem, and that is Carl is dyslexic, and he's been keeping it a secret from her. Carl seeks help of Fiorella's... I can't pronounce her name. Favorite author, and has him help him has him help him write down his feelings. I think one of the main things that stood out to me in this book was the fact that the point of view we're getting is from the author that Carl seeks help from. So we're getting this point of view from an elderly author, who by the way is never named in this book. He remains anonymous in this book, which is really interesting to me as well. And I've never seen that done in a YA novel before where you're getting this perspective from an adult. It was very interesting and new. I've never seen it done before. This story is very driven by character development, causing it to seem a bit slow at times and honestly there's not much plot. But while this is such a simple story, it's a a very meaningful story and a very beautiful story. This story is less focused on descriptions and action and more focused on development of characters and dialogue. It's a very dialogue heavy story actually. I became really attached to each and every character very quickly. Besides Fiorella, I kind of had a lot of problems with Fiorella the girlfriend. Just didn't really like her that much. Throughout the story, Carl and the author develop a friendship that is like a father-son relationship, basically, and Carl's father had passed away, so he needed somebody to confide in, and he confided in the author. So I just really love this relationship that you see grow throughout the story of the author and Carl, because they grow to become a lot like family, and it was really nice to see that, and they're so much alike. They both are very lonely people, they like to be isolated, they're introverts, like myself, I'm an introvert. But they just have so many similar personality traits and it was just really nice to see them come together and develop as friends. Like I said, I had a lot of problems with Fiorella, the girlfriend. That's just an evil girlfriend name. Can we just agree on that? That is an evil girlfriend name. But I just really had a lot of problems with her. She was very selfish and didn't think of anybody else but herself. So I, I just had a lot of problems with her. At the beginning I was like, okay, she's alright, she's an alright girlfriend. But then in the middle you're just like, just go away, just go away Fiorella, you're just causing problems, causing all sorts of problems. But then again, without Fiorella, uh, Carl would never have been introduced to the author, so I guess there's a point for her to be in there, there's a reason she's in there, she brought the two of them together as friends, so that's really nice. But still, she's, she's a selfish, selfish naughty word that I'm not gonna say. So yeah, that's my mini review of Dying to Know You by Aiden Chambers. This is an awesome story. Definitely check it out if you're a fan of contemporary. I think that you'll really enjoy this story. It's just a nice light read, so definitely check it out if you get the chance to check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you tomorrow with a new video. Later.